Hello everyone and welcome to Nisi Lexi. If you're new here, I'm a content creator, digital marketer, as well as a vlogger. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some insights in my career as a digital marketing strategist and also for those who wanted to pursue a career in digital marketing or they want to actually start their own digital marketing agency or get into the digital marketing field. So this is all going to be about how to go about entering the industry and as you all know i have worked as a google product trainer google strategist and also now a senior ppc um strategist so and i do also kind of you know do a lot of um insights by sharing some of my um knowledge with ppc as well as uh google ads as well as seo personal branding so anything that has to do with digital I have been doing marketing for a very long time and that is why i wanted to be able to share with some of you guys who are interested into getting into this field to pursue a career or to pursue a fashion passion or to even just you know kind of start a company with digital marketing kind of understand the scope of practice and what it takes to be a digital marketer or get into the industry so without further ado hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with my weekly content that i post here in this channel i do have my friday boss up with me girl stock edition and i also have my thursday live interviews with entrepreneurs from around the globe and also this uh e-learning sunday series that i share with you guys here basically three different um topics but it's all about being a business owner improving your social media and also learning digital marketing or marketing just in general so without further ado let's get into the video so yeah oh. Today's topic, as the title mentioned, this is basically how to pursue a career in digital marketing or opening your own um, agency as a digital marketer. So what is the first thing you need to do? Basically, uh, I would say the first thing I highly recommend you guys is to understand the basic of digital marketing. What is a digital marketing? Digital marketing is basically any marketing uh, practice that you do online, whether it's to generate leads, to generate sales, whether it's to increase uh, website traffic, whether it's to raise brand awareness, whether it's to also basically kind of like, you know, be able to help uh, build businesses online and generating some sort of incomes or, or that have you. Um, there's no much of a difference between traditional marketing as opposed to digital marketing when it, when we talk about the basics of it, because marketing is basically you be able to tell a message about a brand and kind of help resonate with, with audience and also kind of finding your target market, finding the people who are interested in your product or service, and then kind of market your concept or market your idea to them. This is the same thing as with digital marketing, but the only difference is that it is done online. And the great thing about digital marketing versus traditional marketing is that with digital marketing, you're able to measure your results. You're able to have matrix and that, those metrics will kind of tell you whether it's working or it's broken or whether there are actually some things that you need to be able to correct it to make sure that you are aligning and that you add investment is actually returning back the profit that you have actually uh allocated for your for your campaigns and that is why digital marketing is is growing at a, such a fast rate compared to traditional marketing because with traditional marketing when you put a billboard at a times square a lot of people might have seen your ads but only very few who might actually be um inspired by the ad to go actually buy it and sometimes we have like the ad in televisions we have the radios we also have um some other methods that people used to do back in the days to get the marketing message across however with those kind of mediums it's very hard to measure only with digital marketing where you have data you have statistics you have you know the cost you know the conversions you know the impressions you know how many people have seen it you know how many people actually interacted with it and that is why a lot of companies uh that are kind of facilitating the marketing engine like google facebook uh TikTok, 
is Snapchat, Instagram, those offering kind of those platforms because they have a lot of users that are available for us to be able to kind of, you know, uh, target a specific audience within those platforms to be able to market our product or our services or sometimes just brand messaging. And that's what basically makes the digital marketing more exciting and things of that nature. Before people, when marketing first started with digital marketing, a lot of people don't understand how it works and people start freaking out. How come am I, I'm getting targeted by certain ads and things like that? But what they don't know is that there's actually a specific strategy that goes behind the scene to be able to show you ads at the right time at the right message. When users searching for a specific keyword or they're interested in a specific topic, we would actually create something called an in-market audience, a remarketing audience to be able to target to those individuals. That's why some messages or some brand um, ads look more relevant to you is because based on the activity that I actually do in this platform. That is basically the core of digital marketing and what digital marketing basic understanding you need to know. Once you have established that understanding, the next thing is, is start owning your own website. So for me, before when I wanted to get into the digital marketing industry, I actually created the Nisi Lexi brand. And the Nisi Lexi brand is the reason why I actually got into digital marketing is because I wanted to be able to increase the traffic on my set. I want to be able to uh, have a strong branding message where can people be able to understand what exactly that I do. And for me, in order for me to do that, I need to have the, the core knowledge on how I can scale this online and that's why i went to for a whole year at the college i did social media marketing i did personal branding seo and i learned all of this stuff to be able to kind of like you know use my own website as a practice as a tool where i'll be able to do all the implementation all everything that i need to kind of basically have a hands-on because most of the time as a student who's learning to be in a digital marketing um industry you you're not going to get right away a client to work on so that's why it's very important for you to have your own website so you can test all the knowledge you can also kind of monitor do the conversion actions the conversion tracking so you can understand how all this stuff are basically set up then the next thing you need to do is also you can become an seo expert because obviously part of digital marketing there's also the organic um aspect of it seo is a is a long winded way of going about digital marketing because it's about building the brand um awareness for the long term whenever somebody let's say search for nisi lexi i'm going to be showing up at the first page of google anything any any website that mention my name any social media that have my name also my own names on the blogs that i have written to be able to build that social media authority and the domain authority in facebook so in Google search, that's basically what allows me to show up on top. So this is also kind of part of being in the digital marketing. You can become an SEO expert and kind of help brand to be able to fix the technical on page, off page SEO. And this also kind of have its own um, game plan, its own uh, industry sector. There's also expert that in that field specifically that just do SEO full time. And you can also go to that route. Or if you love social media and you feel like, you know what, SEO is not really a cup of tea, you can go towards the Facebook ads, towards the TikTok ads, towards the uh, even LinkedIn. You can go through that route by doing a social media type based ad expert. And also some of these channels, to be honest with you, the basic core fundamental of how to create campaigns, they're all similar. And also the audience targeting are similar, but however, they're might be some sort of policy changes some sort of metrics and also the ux might be a little bit different but the basic foundation of it is like understanding there's a campaign there's an ad group or ad sets there is um keywords that needs to be inserted or if it's just a display type of campaign then you just kind of select based on the audience and the interest and then be able to target them so all of these kind of core basic knowledge you need to know and then you can become an SEO digital marketing expert or a social media digital marketing expert. So these are three, uh, two different fields. The other concept of it, you can also be a PPC expert, which is paid per click. And this is, you can also get your Google Ads certification. And when you get your Google Ads certification, you get to know uh, all the type of Google um, search engine that you, can potentially become an expert on it. So we have the Google search, you can do it through display, through search, 
through YouTube, through, um, what's the other one, Performance Max. So there are so many other products that is kind of basically involved with Google Ads that you can utilize to do digital marketing and you become a PPC expert or PPC strategist, or you can be an account strategist. You can also have diff basically different titles for different role and, and based on the title that you have, the scope of workload will be differently. And you can also be a senior PPC strategist, or you can even be a product trainer, basically teach people how digital marketing work with that specific platform. And that's basically some of the job that I used to do at Google when I work at the, as a trainer. And the last thing I would say also, you can become a master Facebook ad as advertiser, advertising, P it's not a PPC strategy. This is more like a Facebook master ads so you'll be able to also know how to basically create campaigns in facebook whether it's conversion consideration brand awareness driving traffic growing page facebook pages all of these basically different type of ads that you can potentially create and also adding facebook pixels which is for conversion tracking and all of these stuff you can basically know it through the facebook ad they have a specific certification where you have to complete in order to become an expert in that specific field and then other thing you can also do you can become um what do you call it um managers where you can basically manage the digital marketing as a whole account manager basically you're responsible for talking to client, making sure that the client understand the scope of practice and how their business is going to work. And you would also work alongside uh, a strategist to be able to help these uh, brand kind of meet their marketing uh, needs. And you become that basically the middleman as an account manager, ma managing these accounts and talking to them, setting up meetings and follow up and all of those stuff. This will need would require you to just kind of know the basic foundation of digital marketing, not necessarily like more in depth. But if you're going to be in a strategy, so you're going to be an expert at something, then you would need more in depth certifications in order for you to basically understand what is going on behind the scene, how to turn off and how to switch off, and how to basically work this magic and sparkle your pixie dust on if all of these accounts to make sure that it works well. Um, getting a digital marketing job, you can either start as a freelance or you can go as me. You can join a boot camp for three months and kind of do an internship. And during those internships, obviously, you would have a hands on experience where you get to work with real life clients, which you get to work with actually uh, accounts, life accounts that have budgeted spend. You can also kind of see how the campaigns are performing and you can basically kind of start understanding when to switch things around, switch different keywords and kind of all of this stuff. Digital marketing is a growing demand, something that you have done last week and it worked really great. In the next months, it's not going to work anymore because Google is constantly updating, it's constantly changing. It's a platform that is never ending. And they're also introducing a lot of machine-based learning content and machine-based learning automations with the smart bidding, with uh, automated features. So you also need to stay up to date about how this automated feature works as opposed to the manual ones and when to kind of switch across between the two to make sure that the, your campaigns are, are setting up for success. So all of these are basically different things that you could do in order to kind of get into pursuing your career in digital marketing and also pursue your, um, your if you're gonna open your own agency. Other thing I would say is that stay on top of the game. There's a lot of updates that are coming in. You have to keep on learning. If you have your cert, that's the reason why also Google Ads certification expires every year. So you have to kind of keep on renewing it because they're always updating the platform. With Facebook, the same thing. Every time Facebook changes and new rules are being implemented, that means you also have to revise and review your certification to stay ahead of the game and making sure that you're constantly is staying on top of your PPC or your digital marketing knowledge. So that way you're not staying behind when all the new people are coming in with fresh knowledge and you're not basically kicked on the curve. The more you learn, the more you earn. That's basically the rule of the game with digital marketing. The more you know, the better your salary would be, the more you would also earn, and the more you, you will be able to produce a lot of results for these accounts. So that's why I would kind of basically highly recommend you to have a very strong foundation of digital marketing and also continue on learning and continue on getting more certification on under your belt because that will also help you with kind of capturing those high salary paid 
uh, experience and also with more years you have in the digital marketing and all the certification that you keep up updating it would be better for you also as well in your journey as a digital marketing uh, expert so i hope this video was very uh helpful i know i do talk fast but if this video was really helpful for you and you're interested in getting to digital marketing you'd love to learn more feel free to send me an email or you can drop a comment in the description below and i'll be able to cover it in the next video and we can also talk more about how you can enhance your career in digital marketing and i can share more insight on how i even go about starting my own career in the digital marketing world as also like opening my own blog and also my some of the service that i have with digital marketing i would see you guys next time hit the subscribe button like comment and subscribe to this channel and i will see you guys on the next video bye i just want to be iconic sipping on a gin and tonic got me going off on a mindless topic if i ever play